Well, guys, the latest insanity by the liberals now. They're saying that conservatives, they shouldn't be allowed to make music. They shouldn't be allowed to speak on campuses already. I mean, that's already what they think, right? They try to shut down conservative speakers every time they're invited. Uh, I mean, just think back to Milo Yiannopoulos uh, when he tried to speak there at uh, UC Berkeley and everything that happened there, the rioting, the chaos, the oh, just it, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. They acted like animals there. Well, now they're saying that the conservatives should not be allowed to even make music. I mean, if liberals had their way, they would just try to rule the world and no conservatives would be allowed in their little world. OK, well, too bad for them. It's just not the way it is. But conservative talk show host Dennis Prager will guest conduct the Santa Monica Symphony Orchestra on August 16th, despite a public letter from four orchestra members urging their patrons to boycott the concert. The letter, which is signed by UCLA professors Michael Chu and Andrew Apter, cited Prager's strong support for traditional marriage and opposition to open borders as examples of his, quote, bigotry. So because this man has a different set of views, you know, other than these these liberal lunatics, okay, they're saying that he, that just boycott this whole thing, don't go to it because he's going to be a guest conductor and you should not associate yourself now with this, this symphony, this orchestra in any way whatsoever. It's insanity. Santa Monica Mayor Ted Winterer and two city council members have said that they will not attend. Get this, guys, okay? Mayors, city council members saying they will not attend. I mean, it's insanity. Prager had called the boycott, quote, a new low for the illiberal left, he calls them, illiberal left. It is not enough to prevent conservatives from speaking. It is now necessary to prevent conservatives from appearing even when not speaking. Conservatives should not even be allowed to make music, according to the liberals. I mean, <laughs> guys, he, he wants to be a guest conductor. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, he's he's going to do this no matter what they think, and, and good for him. Okay, this is what Prager had to say. He says, "quote I conduct orchestras because I love classical music, and I want to introduce people who have never heard a symphony to classified music. I want to help raise money for local orchestras, and I want I want the wonderful opportunity to make music as a conductor." No politics involved, and that's exactly how it should be. But, of course, that's not what the left is going to say. Again, their goal is to shut down conservatives any way they can, hurt them wherever it is they can. Know that they're going to try to completely silence Christianity one day as well, guys. These are the early signs of it right now. Shut down the conservatives, shut down the free speech, then you can get rid of the Christians. Uh, and eventually, when the Antichrist takes over, Christianity won't even be allowed in the world any longer. I'm just saying, guys, we need to fight back. We're living in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. If you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, and if you would like to today to accept him, please let me know. It's real simple. Just leave me a comment below, right below in the comment section. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as your Lord and Savior today, guys. You could be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. You could come into the family of God today. We'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. And I promise you, it'll be the greatest decision you ever will make. All right, guys. I'll continue to keep you up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, prophecy headlines, and current world events. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. Don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.